Now you're not always going to be able to use the patterns of flowers to identify a plant because in some cases the flowers are just too small for the naked eye and really uh, this plant is a good example. This is the flower head. There's probably 20 or 30 flowers on there, none of which are bigger than a pinhead. And you can see that entire flower head with 20 or 30 flowers is no bigger than the end of these tweezers. But because I was using careful observation in the field when I gathered this plant, I believe I have gathered enough of this plant to make a positive identification without using the flower. I have the leaves, two of them. I have the flower head, and I know that the flowers are white. I can see they're white, even though I can't distinguish whether they have four petals or not. And I have the raceme, which is a key factor in mustard identification. All mustard family plants have a raceme. And uh, you can you can see this in your garden. Radishes, turnips, kale, um, variety. There's quite a few varieties of uh, common vegetables that are in the mustard family. And you can see all these features on those garden vegetables as well. But the one thing that stood out on this plant to me was this flat seed pod with the notch in the end and the fact that it is on a raceme. Also that in combination with this toothed leaf that has these distinct leaf tips towards the back where it attaches to the stem and those rear leaf tips extend back beyond the stem. So I did a little quick research by looking at some images of mustard family plants. And what I came up with was Pennycress Thalaspi arvensi. Now, that's just a quick search. I need to do a little more research and look up Pennycress by the Latin name and look at all the features, the color of the flower, and everything else and I may even want to go out and harvest the root or something to further my identification but as long as you pay careful attention to the patterns of plants not only the flowers but also the structure of the plant itself what type of seed does it have how are the seeds arranged on the stem does it have a distinct smell? Is there any special pattern to the color? Or is there any special way the leaf attaches to the stem? Is there any special feel to the leaf? Some plants have a, a special feel. That's an easy way to distinguish between American elm and slippery elm. American elm has a relatively smooth leaf when you compare it to the rough feel of slippery elm. Even though the two leaves look very similar, you can distinguish them by feel alone. So there's another, uh, another tip for plant identification. And it's pretty interesting that you can uh, go out and identify a plant, a weed that grows everywhere, and find out that it's used to make biodiesel. So that's a uh, plant with a lot of potential. I'm not going to go into dissecting this one because I already showed the purple one. <clears throat> but this one was all wilted up and uh, I couldn't dissect it properly. But I just stuck it in a little glass of water and within an hour it perked right back up and as fresh as new. So there's a little tip. If you get the plant home and it's all wilted, you can't properly identify it just stick it in a glass of water and likely it'll perk right back up and then you can go ahead and dissect it.